Hello, I'm Modern Heat. Welcome to my review of Yuzaki episode 7. Another really, really bad anime. It's like perfect. It's the anime perfection. Every week is something new, it's unpredictable, it's interesting. I, 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 love, I love this anime. This anime is insanely good. But the, the story here is so good. The writing is so amazing. I mean, sure, the action is like this new, this new action, but like, who cares about that? But really, I mean, the anime is like the best. I would say it's the best drama, thriller anime this year. Easily, easily, much more than anything else, easily the best. Anyway, I think it was really good. The whole thing there, everyone's like, you know what? I'm gonna try being a hero instead. <laughs> I just love the whole thing. It's like, it goes around here, become a messiah, healing people. It's like, tweet about it, it becomes famous, right? And it goes up to the other, oh, to the Kyoto, he's a kid, so we're there. Now, it was just really, really good. But first of all, I really liked it for Flashback. But Flashback, again, for the week, it shows his psychopath, right? It shows that he's like, oh, someone died. Oh, okay, like, so not, it's not new with his machine. It's not new with being a machine. He already was psychopath, of course, before being turned into a machine, and he didn't care about dying for him, right? So, um, becoming a machine just made him be more like, oh, I'm just, I'm dead now. Um, and I never really felt much for people anyway, so I'm just gonna start killing them to see the reactions, right? You know, he's like, wait, maybe I can save people and see their reactions instead. <laughs> it's kind of like, yeah, that's a pretty good reaction. I want to see people, I want to see their emotions, right? So I did very, very rate people. Very, very interesting, I think. Um, but also, of course, it's mainly about wanting to please his girlfriend, right? It's mainly about having his girlfriend or whatever she is, but something like that, right? And he's like, okay, if I help people, she gets happy. And I like seeing her happy, right? It's a very typical thing, psychopath. He has this bubble of people he protects, right? And then everyone else doesn't really mean to him. So he doesn't care about... He doesn't really show this episode, but I would say it's pretty clear to me, at least, that he doesn't care about actually healing people. He just cares about making her happy, right? So it feels very unfortunate for him, though, that his mom couldn't be... Um, that he couldn't confess to his mom earlier. Uh, and, of course, then, um, he be with his mom instead, yeah. <laughs> but he, he heard her be able to like, healing people with her, right? And that would make her happy, instead. Um, but I, but I liked it. It was a really interesting episode. Seeing the things. So one thing that I would say was bad. I would say it's bad per se, but that's I mean it's so predictable. I mean the episode was extremely unpredictable to me generally. It's like what is going on now? What is happening? She she she, she accepts him being a murderer and you know so on. But one thing though that kind of gives a little blank, you know, like a wet blanket over it is that you of course know it's gonna end right. I think that just is. It's just kind of impossible that it's not going to happen. And you clearly see the last minute there, or the second we see the last SWAT team or something that is surrounding where they live. So, yeah, what, what are you going to do, right? And I think that it's not... I mean, that's the only negative I have for this episode. And because that is just so predictable. Because that has to happen. We know he's the evil guy. Not the evil guy, but he's the antagonist, right? So the antagonist, uh, the protagonist. And we know that they have to make him go bad again. We know that this story is going to be really weird if Inuyashiki is trying to fight him when he's like turned around a fool on the leaf and trying to just help people instead and so go there and like kill him or something. That's going to be really weird. It could be very interesting, but it probably won't really work. So, of course, the anime story has to be a force, like another factor to enter there. And I think it's very, very likely that the SWAT team accidentally will kill his girl, right, and to the grandma, yeah, they would probably be kill her, um, both of them, very, very likely, trying to take you out, I think it's probably what's gonna happen, um, so, but it's for next week, but I think, I think it's like, that's pretty much has to happen, and it will trigger him, and he will kill them all, and then, you know, he will, like, destroy the cops, or, like, destroy all the police stations, or whatever, and, and then he has to fight him, right, and so on, this is gonna make him snap, right, when he loses yet another person he cares about, um, but, yeah, so I think that's, that's, like, Kinda is how the story is forced, right? If Hero was the main character, which he kinda is right now, because he's like he's been less in the anime than he has, but still, I mean, if, if the anime was called Hero, and we didn't have Inyashiki, we used Fallen Hero, and we saw Hero like, okay, he's gonna kill thousands of people, his mom commits suicide, or and then he kills everyone on two channels, all right, and then meets his girls, and he becomes, you know, changes his opinion. Like, then I could see it happening that he actually never would be attacked by the cops. Or probably will, but like not that that quickly, because then there's, there's no uh, there's no uh, drama to be had between him and all the meta human rights. There's no like machine has to fight. If you be about a guy being a murderer and then okay, actually I'm gonna save life now. 
which is not like a that uncommon storyline. I mean, it's not overly used, but it's pretty. This is a martial art movie. It's like, uh, is it Fearless with Jet Lee, right? I think I think that's already Fearless. Or is this one of his movies? I think it's Fearless. Quite, quite problem. I'm pretty sure it is. Where he, uh, he's like a fighter, kills a lot of people. Yeah, like an honorable fighter, but he kills a lot of people. And then he crashes his life, and he lives in like a farm, and become a peasant for like a 10 years, something like that. Uh, and he's like, I'm never gonna kill anyone again, right? And then he's like, okay, whatever, I'm gonna have to enter this martial art tournament based on a true story. Uh, or like classic Ronnie Kenshin, of course, Batusai, kills a lot of people, and then he kinda, okay, I'm gonna murder anyone again, I'm gonna turn around with a sword, never kill anyone. You know, it's like, yeah, you see it before the anime and so on, right? Uh, but this would be very much more like, okay, I have to heal as many people as I kill. So it'd be kind of a mathematical thing that I guess is more though. And he also killed a lot of innocent people, more than anyone else do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So that, that, that was, he was the interesting that Sandstorm as I used to main character of Inyashiki, I would say, because with other stories, it's more about people that kill a lot of people in wars or like kill people in like martial art tournaments and so on, but they didn't like, you know, just walk around killing people on innocent people. Right? Yeah, so here it would be way more, oh, I killed thousands of children and now I'm gonna go out and hit people. Yeah, that, that would be way more like, he is way, way more evil, right? Way more down here. He has to do a lot more. So, but that, but I can see it happening. I'm mean, saying that, that that could be a storyline, but it cannot be here. If it, it can't be a storyline here, Hero has to be either attacked by Inuyashiki, Ando, or the cops, right? Some of them has to have a factor entering his current healing good life and making him a bad guy again, right? You know, like a really bad guy, so to speak. He has to become it, or else he can be no like, uh, no battle between him and the, and the actual hero. The story, so that's what we need. That so, you know, I think it's like I think it's, it's I think it's pretty good. But that that's one thing that kind of, kind of uh, I wouldn't say it disappoints me, but it's kind of like I kind of wish, I guess in a way that it were in Yashiki because it's such a really good story of hero. In Yashiki, it doesn't really affect the story. You know what I mean? Like that could be a real story. And of course, we have conflict and so on, but now we kind of know that they have to like pretty much kill his girlfriend and the grandma and so on. Pretty much know that's gonna happen to trigger him. So it's like. But anyway, I think the episode had some other really good parts. Some parts, uh, parts, right now. So first of all, uh, I like the whole flying thing. <laughs> I was like, oh, this is flying. He's like crying. And I don't want to talk too much about her, but she clearly has some kind of delusional uh, mind. I don't know how to call her mental disorder, but it's like clearly she is not healthy, right? She has some kind of like, oh, you murdered thousands of people? I forgive you. <laughs> as long as you love me, it's like, yeah, she has some, she has some really, really insane uh, love for him, right? So it's clearly something is wrong with her. Uh, and that's the word she kind of, you know, makes him girl healing. But also it's like, he doesn't, he doesn't really need to do that for her. She kind of still would forgive him, right? So yeah, she has her own issues, definitely. But uh, I think it was generally a nice scene there. He's just, I like that he's like, you know, she talks to him, right? And he's like, oh, I killed them all. What? You killed them all? I think. She goes around in school like, hero is innocent. And then he's home like, hero, why would I hate you? I don't know why. Oh, I killed everyone. That's what hate me. What? Uh, I never told you? I'm a murderer. <laughs> it's like, that, 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 was, that was really good. Like, I, I, I killed everyone. I thought you knew. Everyone knows that. That's like, a, uh, that, that, that was great. Um, but I like that. And, oh yeah, I've mentioned this in the, in the review. I, I love the whole, I mean, I'm a huge One Piece fan. I actually did do One Piece review this more uh, earlier day, right? Um, before this, and of course, because I've seen her crying here. And she's like, I, think, uh, I want to leave. It's like, of course, that is a definitely a reference um, to One Piece. I mean, we know that the author has mentioned Nami, that they'd rather want to do Nami than some of the class members had, right? Um, One Piece is her favorite manga, this victim of hero. Who she likes sorrow for One Piece, and now we have this scene here with a black-haired woman, similar to, uh, to Robin, Nick Robin in height and so on, similar here, like very similar here, um, even nose and everything. Yeah, she's more whiter than Nick Robin was back in the days there, but still, it's like yeah, very very similar, of course. And it's like the same scene there. I want to live and crying, and I was like, there is no way that is not a One Piece reference. I was like, I loving that scene, I loving that she just has cancer. It's like I want to live. And um, yeah, opposite one piece scene, but also it's a great scene because uh, she almost commits suicide right at the, at the trains. And we know that we had it, the beginning of the flashback with Hero, where they showed that he's a psychopath, also a psychopath. So yeah, like I think it was a great kind of analogy around that. And then of course he meets her later, 
his her cancer. And it was a great thing too because she had like a really black yeah, under her eyes, right? Big, brownie face. And then the next day, back in the office, it's much more brighter. And yeah, <laughs> she's like, yeah, I'm happy now. Yeah, like completely different. Like she did her whole body, right? So she went from having cancer to being perfect health, right? So that was nice. And then of course you go around and healing everyone, going to like Kyoto healing children and <laughs> yeah, they heal some random guys on tongues like oh kids to heal you here. I mean you can heal you go always like uh, that, that that was really good, everything was really good here. Um But yeah, overall really good episode. I love those moments, some really nice moments there. Um one thing I would say though, which I kinda liked would have happened, is that um I'm thinking about it. I lost my there. No, no, I thought that was. I, I kind of would have liked if he would have saved her from the train. You know? I think, that, I think they kind of closed the circle there a bit. Maybe it would be a little too much in your face, though. But I don't, I don't know. I, I kind of would have liked to think. Because it was clear like she was going to commit suicide. Okay, then we wouldn't get into the Robinson thing about it. Um, that is true, though. We, we, we would not get the One Piece scene, though. Because it was all about I want to live. But still. I don't know, that would be nice too, seeing Hero being at the train and thinking about like, hmm, I, I saw this guy kill myself and I didn't care about it and then she's, and she's her doing it, or someone else, it's like whatever, it saves her this time. That could be interesting to see his like, character developing, because last time you kind of see the guy committing suicide, right? And he didn't do anything, because he's like whatever. And now he could be like, hmm, maybe I should save him, I'm, I have super speed now. It could, it could have been something there. Not necessarily her though, but someone else. It could be interesting seeing him. Because that's one thing I think is very interesting here. I guess that's also the kind of point though, what's a good writing, is that he didn't save anyone, so to speak. And what I mean with that is that he saved a lot of people here, but he saves them, you know, very directly, I'm oh, sorry, indirectly, I guess, more like healing the cures, curing them, more than you're actually, you know, doing typical hero thing and like saving them from a train, you know, saving them from drowning. He actually is just... He's just, you know, saving them, right, by touching them after they have some, some cancer. Really. He's not actually like, actively save people. He's purely uh, reactive to what they have. Not, no, no proactive saving. So that goes back again then to him actually not wanting to save people. He wants to make her happy. He doesn't actually care about people. So I think that could, that, so I mean, yeah, it's good that it didn't happen because that would change the personality, but also mean that it could be a thing that could happen. He actually would yank some out there and save them, actually, you know, save them before it happens, right? And that would make him more of a heroic person. Um, so, yeah, I mean, definitely something to happen. He didn't care to develop, he stayed the same. Um, but I pointed out that's very, I think it's very important for the whole story there. Because if he had saved someone, actually, like like uh, Inyashiki, going there and fighting someone, Yaksuki, they're, they're saving people right there. He was more like, whatever, I just, I just cured or to make her happy. So I think they definitely, it's a kind of shallow hero, right? The shallow hero thing. That's a good one, yeah. The shallow heroic he does. Anyway, really good episode. Hope you get this week. Have a great day.